Hello and welcome. In the next few minutes, we're going to take you in a tour in the King Saud Medical City Critical Care Department, trying to show you how the work goes on inside and how we're trying to save lives every day. The KSMC CCD consists of four sections, the left wing, right wing, second floor, and the main ICU. In these sections, we have six areas, isolation, infected, medical, surgical, fast track, and chronic areas. Each one of those sections, we have 25 beds, except for the main ICU, which is having 41 beds. That makes it collectively 116 beds, making it the biggest ICU in the Middle East and one of the biggest in the world. In addition, we recently acquired the maternity and the nursing staff of the Burn ICU. Here we're trying to take care of each bed individually, trying to sustain the superiority of the quality of care as much as we're sustaining the superiority of the quantity. Taking care of such huge number of beds is a big challenge overcame by a massive number of staff. The ICU family has 492 nurses and 48 bedside doctors supervised by four senior registrars and five fellows, which are in turn supervised by seven consultants and four associate consultants. In such way, we aim to comply with the international recommendation of keeping one nurse per patient and one ICU doctor per eight patients, supervised by senior registrar and the ICU consultants, providing medical care and supervision around the clock. Each morning there are ICU team rounds in each of the units conducted by the consultant and attended by a member from each ICU division to review the patients and put together the treatment plans. Dialysis catheter insertions, central line insertion along with ICT insertions, along with bronchoscopies and percutaneous tracheostomies. Those are all procedures which are performed by our highly qualified and skilled physicians. Last year alone, they performed around 700 central lines insertions, along with 151 bedside tracheostomies. The Nurses Service Division of the Critical Care Department is the largest division of the unit. With 500 nurses, we are covering six units within 12 hours duty. Our nurses undergo continuous training, competency, and education in all of aspects of critical care. They have competency to handle all of the advanced machine in the unit. In addition, they receive training of the hospital electronic communication system and the Nofian system, which is the two electronic documentation system we use in the ICU. Alongside, there are many teams covering the medical aspects that can be missed or overlooked in any ICU. There are the dietitian team, the physiotherapy team and the clinical pharmacy team. Also we have the bed sort team consisting of a consultant and a senior nurse and a clinical educator. As a result, there was an impressive decline in the incidence rates of the bed sores in the ICU, which reached 0% at the end of last year. The CCD Infection Control Division is made up of a team of highly trained and qualified nurses 
led by an ICU physician who follow up the implementation of infection control guidelines in ICU, ensures 100% compliance to these guidelines. They establish the protocol on the proper placement of patients in the unit in an effort to limit the spread of infection through gross contamination. Most importantly, they provide educational programs to increase staff awareness of infection control and prevention practices resulting in improved compliance and safety of both of the patients and the healthcare providers. We also have the tracheostomy team consisting of an ICU consultant and a senior nurse and a respiratory therapist who is following the tracheostomized patients in and out of the ICU. We have three teams working together focused on the staff education. This team organizes lectures and meetings mentored and delivered by professors from outside of the ICU and occasionally from around the world to update us with the latest trends in the critical care. This is in addition to the continuous education and training provided to our staff by highly trained qualified personnel. We even have our own magazine now, the CZD Times. Most of the patients are on mechanical ventilation, so the RT is the backbone of this department. We have one of the best respiratory care service in the Middle East. We have our own ABG's machine inside of the ICU, along with 132 conventional ventilators, 13 non-invasive ventilators, 6 high-frequency ventilators, 5 bronchoscopes, 18 glidoscopes, 15 portable ventilators. And above all, we have the most skillful, highest caliber respiratory therapist in the kingdom. making a lot of effort in keeping the ICU a closed unit. So we're trying to keep all the machines, all the devices, and all the instruments that could be needed by a patient or any patient in the ICU at any point inside of the ICU. By this way, we are not only saving effort, time, and money, but we're saving a lot of risk of the transportation of our patients to any other department for the need of those machines. We have our own X-ray machine with the X-ray technician available around the clock. We have eight dialysis machines, plasma phoresis machine, with all the trained staff needed to operate these machines. We also have an ultrasound and an echo machine inside of the ICU. The Inovian is a state-of-the-art software interface that integrates the patient's data, providing a quick access of the information you need either on the bedside or from the hospital network. From the moment the patient is admitted in ICU, data is recorded automatically into the system, such as vital signs from the monitor, radiology films from PACS, and ventilator settings. It replaces most of the paper-based CCD forms providing seamless flow of paperless documentation, which greatly improves the delivery of patient care by allowing the staff more time to spend with their patients rather than writing in the file. This achievement will not be happening unless we work as a team Plus, we have all the support from our hospital director, Dr. Nasr Dosiri, and also we have the big support from our leader, Dr. Saleh Timimi, who actually put the seed for all the improvement in the critical care unit, and also we hope for the best in the future.